Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with a big Ecomi and VV video. So in this one, I did want to do a quick update on the whole hack or um, phishing scam or whatever it is going around the VV community. I did want to talk about that a little bit, but then Al Khan has actually said something interesting, and this is going to inspire a lot of people to invest way more. I'm telling you right now, this is going to inspire a lot of people. So um, that being said, let's just jump straight into it, man. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and turn on notifications so you stay updated with the latest Ecomi and VV news. So yeah, starting out, man, um, this is what was said. So basically, they said, um, that somebody asked, can you address the hacking issue? I'm a big supporter, all that. And then um, he said, sure thing, seems taking a couple days off just leads to mayhem. There is no issue slash hack or exposure. We can see any and all attacks of our system and there have been zero. All your passwords and information are fully encrypted on our end so there can be no exposure in the first place. Three, the user is responsible for the management and security of their passwords. This includes not using one that is easy to guess, one, one that has been compromised and ensuring um, they are not scammed, fished into giving their details away, which sadly is how these hacks are taking place. So, it seems like he's confirming that people are logging into fake um, VV accounts, like because there's literally an app that's identical to VV. Well, not an app, but a website that's identical to VV. And I can't remember which one it was. I came across it myself. I literally stumbled across this website. And I noticed that something was off about it, but literally, if you didn't notice, it's it's literally the exact same thing as VV. So be careful when you're going to apps on the internet and logging in for sure, because yeah, it it could sometimes not be what you think it is. Because yeah, they, they they're doing a good job of copying VV. Um, VV has actually spoken on a few of these scams as well, so they they've already told people about a few of these, but. It says um, you can check if your email has been part of a data breach. Um, using sites like this, this site below, have I been um, pawned or something similar? And then he said, "For I'm putting together a more public statement to make this clear, and we'll get it out across all our channels soon as it's ready." <laughs> so yeah, there we have it, man. Um, basically, um, VV has spoken out, and they they say that no no breach has taken place on their side. Nothing. Um, so it's basically all just being spread but at the same time I'm seeing people in the community who have nothing to do with just randomly popping up on reddit and stuff like that I'm seeing people who have been impacted who's been around the channel for a while who's been talking about things VV related and stuff so um, maybe they are getting involved in like data um, phishing and stuff like that or doing transfers off-site and stuff because I'm pretty sure people were wondering how they would be able to steal something I'm pretty sure you can send things to people you can't you, you, you can send your NFTs right now. I think that you can send, like, there's a code in your profile. I think you can send things across profiles, but I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. I've never tried to actually use it, but I think that, that that feature may be readily available, which is how people are selling on eBay and things right now. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that feature is available, but I could be wrong. Um, so, yeah, th this, was, this was said. And keep in keep um in mind, I do speak on the news. If I see a lot of people talking about a topic and gathering around a topic, and I can tell that these are people who are usually here on every VV video, it's people who are struggling with this topic. I am going to talk about it because a lot of people are concerned. A lot this is a, a lot of people have invested, but one thing I don't understand is why people think that this was some big scheme to lower the price of VV, and why in the world people think that it works. Cause this 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 did not work whatsoever. A lot of people saying, "Oh, you're fooling it. You're falling into the fud. You you you're part of the problem." Like you never heard of what a correction is, and you're talking about this fake scandal is what's making people sell or something like that. No, in reality, when I heard this news, I didn't think in the slightest. Let me sell. Let me do anything of the sort. I thought, man, I feel bad if that's actually happening to people. But until it happens to me myself, it would not be something that influences my investment decisions whatsoever. So, um, and if even if it did happen, I would contact VV, have them do something about it, and it, it would not change me investing in VV whatsoever. So, what you have to understand is the price of VV has dropped because it's going through a correction. A correction is normal in markets. You can try to blame whatever you want to blame, but just because this is trending around the community does not mean it has any impact whatsoever 
on the um, price of VV because it doesn't. Like anyone who sees VV sees the potential, and this doesn't make anyone just think, man, let me just sell everything, let me get off VV, let me like, no, come on now, that's that's more foot than this is. <laughs> like that is definitely more foot than this. But anyway, let's get into the exciting news, the news that Al Khan himself has spoken about, and we're gonna see what's been said here. So yeah, let's check it out. Al Khan, he said. The introduction of VV beta app reminds me of some initial results when we started testing products such as Pokemon and CPK. And you know what happened to them. Um, so, one thing that we're seeing a consistent pattern of is constant, constant referrals to Pokemon. I'm, I will tell you all this. I will tell you all this. If I founded something but I could not bring that to the current project that I'm working on, I'm not going to constantly boast about or, or make comparisons to or talk about or mention my name with whatever it was. Like, I'm not going to do that. It's just going to make you look bad if it never comes to the app. So um, me, along with a lot of other like reasonable people, think that Pokemon is definitely confirmed. It's happening behind the scenes. It's definitely something that's going to come. But... um. This this just makes me believe it even more. I'm seeing like every everything is leading back to Pokemon being involved in um, VV. Um, outside of this, just being the guy who did it, because even when he was introduced, he was never introduced as the guy who did Pokemon until months after he had joined the team. After he had joined the team, they they introduced him twice. It's just Al Khan. Then they introduced him randomly a while later and said, "Oh, this is the Pokemon guy, Al Khan." My suspicions is after they, so when they start announcing Pokemon and mentioning Pokemon and his name uh, um, by side by side and stuff like that, I'm assuming that that's when they got that license. But um, hey, I, I, this just this just some of my thoughts. Either way it goes, him saying that he is seeing Vivi as the same results that started the, the the effect that made Pokemon what it is today, that's insane because we all know how big that is. We know how big that is. We, we do know what happened to them. And to see him saying this, to see him really backing Vivi like this, saying, like, basically he's saying it could be the next Pokemon thing, type thing to explode. And, hey, I'm, I'm invested. I'm heavily invested. So, hey, I, I'm definitely happy to hear this. I'm happy to see the comparison. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to see, we're going to see Pokemon come down the line, especially based on Vivi throwing up, or Ikomi throwing up the, fact that Pokemon and this was a um, guy who found it and stuff like that all the time. So yeah, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. I definitely want to hear your thoughts. I definitely love to hear um, your opinions and stuff on these matters. But yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Let me know if this gets you excited. This is not financial advice, by the way. Um, I'm just, this is my personal opinion. This, this is the type of stuff that makes me think that Pokemon is involved and makes me want to invest more. This is what leads my decisions. But let me know what you all think. Drop that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'm going to catch you all on the next one. Peace out.